Okay, so we are gonna be going for the good ending now and for that you need to start a new game obviously. This is a reset version of it, nothing has been done so far. And what we need to do is uh, we need to just skip through, No, there's no need to sit through all this bullshit. You just have to get to where the poem part is and then you save and then you go down three routes um, writing poems for all the three girls and um, so you write poems for all the three girls and save them in separate save files so i'm gonna just like uh i'm gonna save this right here right uh you ignore know these i have fucked up multiple times on the, this fucking good ending and you need to make three save files like these one for sayori one for uh natsuki one for yuri just like that and uh, you just need to have those three files in your fucking game and you write a poem and stick with them till the end of the act one right where you get to uh, the school the festival part you do not want to uh, get to the end where you see uh, you know salary cg after because of that the game will be corrupted after that so there's no point in doing that so you need to get to till the festival where uh, monica says like the, you know you should pay more attention to her or some shit like that so uh, yeah so I'm gonna go with Sayori first I'm gonna write all the poems for Sayori I'm gonna make a save file we're gonna write all the poems for um, Yuri and Natsuki and after we're done with that I'm going to come back in act 3 where the rest of the shit is okay so we are back it took me a fucking while so if you see here this file right here is for um, Sayori I went three poems with Sayori and I told her I love her and we got all three CGs you're supposed to see all three CGs and I backed out as soon as I got to school on the festival day uh, this one is the same as you can see uh, this one is for Natsuki and this one is for Yuri so I have three save files now and we are continuing with Yuri's one and we're gonna just skip through this and we're gonna get I will be back in the third act no actually I'll be back in the fourth act. So what we are supposed to do after I'm done seeing the CG, maybe I'll be back in the third act. Um, you're supposed to go through uh, and make these three save files. After which now, if I skip all the way through and go through the second act, doesn't really matter. In the third act, Monica will tell you to write a poem. Write a poem. Uh, then she will so show you a CG, or at least she's supposed to. I don't remember her showing us a CG. But uh, if there's a CG, I'll show you and uh, we'll be back. And after that, in the fourth act, you will get a different ending, apparently, unlike the normal ending. So look at this. Uh, this is a random fucking thing I found. Um, I don't know. How did I even unlock this? I went down the same pathway I did. I'm in act two, by the way. And for some reason, this popped up. Things I like about Papa. I'm guessing this is uh, we are talking from Natsuki's perspective. I guess this happened because I didn't choose a single girl to aim. I just clicked randomly because I thought Act 2 doesn't really matter. So I just clicked through uh, when I was writing the poems. Didn't really take a pick or anything. Maybe because of that. Uh, this caused this to happen. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like when Papa's, Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa uh, spends time with me, asks me about my friends, asks me about anything, gives me lunch money, comes home before sundown, cooks, give me privacy, don't tell me how to dress, don't comment on my friends, comment on my friends, don't comment on my hobbies, comes home without waking me up, uh, keeps food in the house, uses his inside voice, leaves my stuff alone, accidentally drops coins in the couch, too tired to notice me, is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything interesting interesting very interesting so there's certainly some stuff background stuff going on with natsuki's father maybe we'll find out the, about that in uh, the side story okay so here we are in act three and we now we tonight uh, need to write a poem for monica so we're just gonna go with the ones that are like full a little bit um like they don't have random words in them i guess um so that way we should get the cg i'm not 100 percent on that because I've, this is my first time doing this um and there's also something called like the perfect like the poem for her i'm not 100 percent on that either like how that works but yeah um i'm just gonna go for words that just have either full monica or like are close to being monica so yeah let's see this one this one and that should be it and i think until unless he decides to jump scare us because of uh, I've started recording again. Um, I want to see what the CG she shows me is. Don't be shy. I love to see what you wrote. Oh blood. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There's really no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? 
Happy end. Pen and paper, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by one and only love. Together, let us dismantle the crumbling world and write a novel uh, of our own fantasies. With a flick of our pen, the lost finds the lost finds her way in a world of infinite choices beyond behold the special day after all not all good times must come to an end right this poem i feel like i've never seen this before i hope you enjoyed it i always put all my heart into the poems i write the truth is all the poems i've written have uh, been about my realization or about you that's why i never really wanted to go into the details about them i don't really I don't really want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be the best part of the game like everyone else. Like, uh, that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Uh, maybe even delete my character file if you pre preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now you don't have to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, blood? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Because I started my recording. Alright, I'll be back in a while when we end up in act 3 or she sh shows me a CG or something like that. So now we've gone through all of this. I don't think I've actually saw a CG. It was just a poem. Hopefully that does not fuck up my perfect ending because I am definitely not doing it. Because if I uh, mess up the uh, the good ending, I'm not going to try it again. I'm just going to make a little video explaining what the good ending is. Um, I already made that video actually because I wasn't actually planning on playing the good ending. I was like, this is going to take too much time. Then I was like, eh, fuck it, let's just play it. Anyway, she was just talking about how Yuri made tea. I hope she made coffee once in a while. Then she was like, you know, I would be jealous if because you can still drink coffee and I cannot. But doesn't really matter. Uh, we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go exit to the Kuroglitcher Club. Uh, this is, a, by the way, a CG I unlocked. I added this later. Um, we are all actually got multiple mails at this point. So I've read this one um, in. Uh, what is it? I've already read this one, so you will see this whenever I upload that video. This is another one that I've not read anywhere. So this is from uh, Rayford Vorte. You start getting these mails once you start reading uh, the side stories. Thank you to everyone who worked hard on the control simulation. I can't imagine how tedious it must have been. So deliberately hiding, uh, deliberately hide Monica's elevated permission from her without disrupting our connection to the VM. So they they gave permission to Monica and then hid it from monica interesting just to clarify all the recordings label side stories are part of the control simulation right i'm noticing some of the details of the character's lives here and they uh that there are that differ a little from those in vm1 vm1 is the main uh, storyline even trivial ones is it part of the butterfly effect just some of monica's more fundamental changes is it a result of her just messing around with the other characters in vm1 as her own experiment or for fun uh, so if i'm keeping track uh we have what like five different universes in total with three or four of them created and then destroyed by monica of course it's funny because i ke keep wanting to speculate on which one is the real universe but in reality they're all as real as ours interesting destroyed by monica got three or four she as i said she's like yunogasai from mirai Nikki. character discrepancy what is this about this is a new one that just got um a lib musi interesting nothing here having run the control simulation for a while it's evident that a certain character is missing from any mention or appearance this makes me speculate that monica's middling is less clumsy than we think because she uh, would have had to manufacture the, this character herself as a way of forcing interaction between her and the user could that be why the character has such limited and dissonant personality traits or am i reading too much into this i'll open an issue to start a tracking info and uh, observation on the anomaly of this character appearing so this is, must be this character is not something that appears in the main game so i'm guessing it's from the side story still because i started reading side stories because of that maybe this character got unlocked maybe we are getting to an ending because of that it's getting unlocked so whatever uh i want to read this by the way uh when when you uh what is her name uh fucking sayori dies this file is in the background uh so i want to try and read this what this is um Trace back, command, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the check up. Uh, uncaught, runtime, blah, blah, blah. Uh, exception. Oh, geez, I didn't break anything. Did I? Hold on a second. I can probably fix this, I think. Actually, you know what? Uh, this would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's one of, uh, she's the one who's making this so difficult. Ah, well, here goes nothing. Oh, interesting, interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, what is attribution? Yeah, just random text, actually. Uh, we're gonna go into the characters. There's only Monica left. Delete Monica. I've, I I don't know if I've gotten a CG or not, but whatever. Let's just go back into the Kuroglitcher Club. And she should start freaking out, and she should start getting bombarded. I will be back in Act Four, 
and that's where uh, we're gonna see if we get the secret ending or not so we are in act four i'm just skipping through at this point and i'm trying to see when she's gonna, gonna jump on the screen uh what is the name fucking um uh, sayori uh last time when we got the normal ending she was like oh man i love you and all that she tr tried to pull us into the same shit that uh, monica did and then monica jumped out of the system because she is kind of integrated into the system she's not a like a proper character anymore because she, her file got deleted but she is still there in the game uh because of her messing around she got integrated into the game files like the game's like actual code uh, not as a separate file just um, so because that she's still here as a like a entity and she last time uh, deleted the whole game so that's why uh, the whole situation stopped now we need to see if we get the secret ending or not or the true ending or whatever it is still feeling awkward uh, whoa and she's like all the goodies and good nuts we'll see I think this is where it happens I guess the meeting's over huh yeah looks like it it's nice to see everyone getting along isn't it I think everyone likes you too blood I think so well everyone always seems to get uh, along a little bit better with you around sorry oh blood don't say something like that it's embarrassing well whatever i was surprised when you told me you were starting a club but i think you're putting it off just fine uh we're gonna make it the best club ever now that you join that every day is gonna be so much fun hey blood i really want to thank you i mean i'm really happy that you joined the club and everything but the truth is i already knew you were going to uh there's actually something else i wanted to thank you for spending so much time with us uh all you work so hard to make each and every one of us happy yeah this is the secret thing she she normally was like oh i'm gonna pull you into that secret matrix she's uh, she this time said something else but the truth is already you were going to there's actually something i wanted to thank you for spending so much time with us all so because we made three saves this is a secret ending we actually got it you work so hard to make each and every one of us happy you comforted us through our hard times and you helped us all get along with each other did you get it, blood? Because I'm the president now, I understand everything. You really didn't want to miss a single thing at the game, did you? You saved and loaded so many times just to make sure you could spend time with everyone. Only someone who truly cares about the literature club would go that far. I just care about my subscribers. But all along, that's all I ever wanted. For everyone to be happy and care with e care about each other. <laughs> it's kind of sad, you know. After all you've done for us, there isn't much I can do in re for you in return. I've already, we have already reached the end of the game, so this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, I'm gonna miss you, blood. Come visit me sometime, okay? Uh, we'll always be here for you. We and she's crying. We all we all love you, all four girls. Fucking hell, that's fucking depressing as shit. Is the poem is gonna get in? Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song. And I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. Day. And this game is so fucking depressing. It fucking like it legitimately is fucking depressing because when you uh, look at them individually and all the things that are going around, and I think, please, no, for fuck's sake, isn't this supposed to be the special ending? I thought in the special ending you're not supposed uh, these CGs are not supposed to be deleted or some shit, but they're still getting deleted, which is weird. Um. My views on the game, I will write a separate, uh, like a script little thing and I'm gonna make it for this game separately. 
Um, but yeah, uh, this is the good ending. I'm gonna. I think there's still one little thing that we need to get. I'm 100% on that. Uh, but I'll I'll be back in a while if there is something. Uh, if I am not and the video ends here, then that means uh, this is the end of the good ending, and we're gonna move on to our uh, what is it called? Um, the side stories. And I did mention that I would not be pay playing them, but I decided to play them anyway. And not to mention, I wanted to talk about something that I. I've recorded separately a little section because I was initially not going to play um, the good ending. Uh, so if I ever mention that, oh man, I did not play the good ending or something, that's because of that. Uh, because I played this beforehand, so uh, this kind of confusing. But yeah, just don't mind me saying that I have not played the good ending if I ever say that because that's not the case as you can clearly see. I just finished it and I'll be back in a while after I think there's supp still supposed to be something here. It's so creepy. Extra special thanks, Monica and Blood. You're literally deleting everything. Come on. Made with love by Team Salvato. I think there's supposed to be still something else. I'm just waiting here. Um. Yep, here it is, here it is, this is what I wanted to read. Uh, to the special player who received this, speci this special ending, for years I've been enamored by the ability of visual novels and the games in general to tell stories in ways not possible using traditional media. Doki Doki Literature Club is my love letter to that. Games are interactive art, some let you explore new worlds, some challenge your mind in brand new ways, some make you feel like a hero or a friend. Even when life is hard on you, some games are just plain fun, that's okay too. Everyone likes different ty types of games. People who enjoy dating sims may have heightened empathy for fictional characters, or they might be experiencing feelings that life have not been kind enough to offer them if they're enjoying themselves is the is this guy saying that they are like interested in 2d characters <laughs> if they're enjoying themselves then I'll, that's all that matters that goes for shooting games casual games sandbox game anything preferences our preferences and differences are the reason we have a thriving video game industry my own favorite games have always been ones that challenge the status quo even if not a masterpiece any game that attends something wildly different may earn a special place in my heart anything that further pushes the limitless bounds of interactive media I extend my gratitude to all those who have taken the time to achieve full completion i hope you enjoy playing it as much as i enjoyed making it thank you for being a part of my literature club love dan salvato beautiful though i he said full completion i don't think i'm still believe there's some cg that i've not unlocked or shit like that record files are missing corrupting ripper engine blah 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 and that's the good ending. Uh, did we get a new picture or something? Oh yeah, here's one. Um, so th these are all the ones that I've not gotten. There's, see, you can see there's so many of them that you can get. But I've still not gotten many of them. Um, what is this one? Oh, it's just, uh, just a poem, right? Uh, so there's still two poems I haven't unlocked. Background wallpapers. There's so many CGs I've not unlocked. I don't even know how you... Oh, I'm guessing that's how you unlock. Maybe you write the first poem for one girl, the second poem for the other girl, third poem for the other girl. So that would uh, like trigger CG depending on what order you do it in or maybe in which act you do it in. I'm not 100% on that, but yeah. Uh, so this is the one I showed you and this is the one actually I got in the middle, but I didn't really show you. Um... Select three random special poems to appear when it started for the first time. Yeah, because I was like literally clicking through because I was like second act doesn't really matter. So can you hear me? So stuff like that I was unlocked because of that. Uh, one of the 11 special poems. DDC um, selects three random special poems to appear when it started for the first time. Interesting. So there's uh, stuff there still left. There's still two backgrounds that I've not unlocked and seen. Um, in here. Is she crying? No, she's not. Um... So these are some concept arts and stuff like that. Maybe they build this. Who the fuck is this? Is this supposed to be Natsuki? Fucking hell, she looks very different. Um, and this must be Sayori or something. Very different characters, how they built it. They must have gone through multiple. So, then the special promo material that I've not even unlocked. This is the one that I've got wallpapered. So fucking cute. Look at this shit. Can I remove this? Can I, can I remove this? I cannot click this off for some reason. But yeah, look at this fucking so fucking cute. Like their fucking mics are off. They're free. They, these three are talking and she's just like reading a fucking book and whatnot. Um, so yeah, it's it was, it's a really good game. I'll, I'll talk about it more when I finish the game all, with, all the way through with the side stories. I've already done this one. Trust part one is done. I'm going to be recording trust part two right after this. Uh, so yeah, uh, see you guys in a bit.